Hey guys, I'm Mark. I want to do a quick, well not really a review of the DJI Osmo Pocket Gimbal Camera, but there's a shortcoming in regards to how you connect it to your phones um, that uh, people aren't really happy with. And I got this common sense thing that I kind of pieced together, maybe someone else put it out there on Reddit. Um, so I'm going to show you that to you in a second. First off, for those who aren't familiar, this little guy is, you know it's funny, when they did the, the marketing photos for the, for the camera, I think they used someone with a much smaller hand. Uh, and, uh, you know, when I put this thing in my hand, it's, uh, it's just, it's so much more than I thought it was going to be. And at first I was a little like, eh, but it's great because the power is there and, and it, it's just a great product. So as you can see, it has a stabilizer in there. As I'm moving, it keeps the camera, you know, in a great position. And, and what, the way they work these gimbals is they sort of have that flowing so if you shift direction it's not like a jerkiness it kind of kind of flows um, and then I think within the software they also are able to take out some of the jitteriness of it oh so anyway the da this downside that I want to talk about is there is no wireless built-in connector in here it's not built in $350 um, so what they do is they sell an add-on I don't even think it's available yet that's it's a base that gives you wireless connectivity um, and then you can connect your device to it and that's $60 maybe so what they give you though is two little adapters. This is the iOS Lightning adapter. Adapter is also an Android, and you flip it around like that, and then you take your phone, which, and you you connect it in, and you can see already like there's nothing holding that on there. So this is a this is an iPhone 7 Plus. The the newer iPhones are even bigger. There's just nothing to hold that in there, and it's just awkward and. Um, you don't need to do this, you can just use this little screen, um, but people want to see the big screen. So, long story short, to get to the point, um, someone else on Reddit had posted that they had a new iPad Pro. Now, the iPad Pro comes with the USB-C adapter. This is the USB-C adapter. It's the latest and greatest. It's the fastest you can, you know, from what I understand, you can like plug into something and, and be charging while sending a full video stream to the monitor and, you know, it does multiple things. It's so fast. Um, the iPhones do not have the USB-C. So this is Captain Obvious, common sense. I thought, well, is there a USB-C lightning adapter that would work for this? And Sure enough, I went to the Apple Store. This is the $19 USB-C to Lightning adapter. Um, I didn't know these would even be a, a, a popular thing. Someone else commented to me, like, "Hey, you can just go to Walmart and get them for nine bucks now." I see them on Amazon. I, I went, you know, I went further. I, I went to the to our Apple Store, which is a little bit of a waste. Just I thought it was a niche item. So what I'm going to do is shut up now and uh, move the camera, and I'm going to show you how these two things go together and just. Uh, um, it does work, and then show some of the quick advantages that I see with this. So, thank you. Hold on. All right, so we're going to show how I've figured out the best way to do this. Um, there is, it, it didn't always connect. I've done this maybe 10, 20 times, and it doesn't always connect to the device. What seems to give me the, and maybe this is just dumb luck, but what seems to give me the, the best uh, success is what I'm going to show you. So again, it's USB-C to light, lighting, lightning cable. Um, I have the official Apple product for about $20. You can get them for half price um, generics through Walmart or Amazon. So there's the lightning end. So what I found out that works is, you know, plugging it in or starting the app doesn't seem to make a difference first. Um, I'm using the official DJI Mimo app, which you need. Now I'm connected to Wi-Fi and this may start playing video here. Um, then what I do is I I don't I have the device off. I have the Osmo off. And when I turn it on, this seems to be the best way that it connects to the app. And I don't know if you guys heard that. I could hear it and I could feel it. there was a little vibration. The phone vibrated to designate that it was connected. And uh, I'm trying to watch on the screen here what I'm doing here so I don't have my big hand in the way. Um, so you can see as I'm moving around. I am, you know, videoing with the Osmo while viewing on the screen. Clicking there, I am actually now recording. There is a small gimbal control. So this is something you can't really do, I don't think, on the device. You can only go up and down. There's a little, you know, when, the, when you're scroll, when, with, working with the device itself, there's a, you can go up and down, but you can't do the whole axis like I'm doing right now. So two things about this. Well, first off, again, no $60 wireless add-on. 
Um, but two things about it is this is a three foot cord. I'm assuming they make larger cords. So what's cool about this is say you're at an event or something where you have an obstructed view. Uh, maybe it's a, you're looking at a street performer in Inner Harbor, Baltimore, and you're three or four people back. You could hold the, the Osmo device up over the crowd with the cable, see instantly that you have the right angle with your other hand. So you just make it a two-hand operation. You can see that you're getting the shots that you want to get. That's a, that's a real big win. Um, even if the screen were larger, the scenario I just described, you're not going to you're not going to see the screen. Uh, the second thing is, oh, I'm still recording here, is um, the, the instant pre, uh, review feature that you get on the bigger screen. So in fact, um, to the tech bloggers, they're a pair, I, I forget their name, I'm, I'm new to this stuff, um, but they did a review of the product before it came out, there was a firmware update, they did an update, and the gentleman was doing a selfie mode, and he said, I think this is working, but I won't know till I get back to my office and plug it into the computer. Well, you just push down here, connect it, it's pulling in, I have instant access to, this is the video I just shot, on, you know, my iPhone 7 Plus screen. And not dangling, like obviously you could do this connected around, but you know, look at that. It just doesn't work if, you, if we flip this around and connected it direct, it's, you know, dangling through. Now I had a scenario, I was, I was giving that little uh, event story, but I have a scenario too. I, I, I do another blog, it's a community-based news blog, and I was doing this story on some, a big retail, I'm sorry, a big road construction project. And I take this video, it's a light drizzle, I don't really know from this little screen how good it is. It was nice to go back to my car before I left the location, plug this in, and see the video streaming right there. Um, you know, I'm a good nine miles from where this is at, so to actually, you know, then have to drive home and look at it again, I could have flipped it around. It's just awkward. Again, this was much more convenient to just plug it in. So, so. $20 or $10 is a generic. I think it's something that every Osmo pocket owner should have and take advantage of. I think that's it. Oh, and other than, of course, when you're doing this, all of your um, camera settings are available, by the way. In fact, I believe there's some even some advanced modes, so if you haven't explored the app, but now you have more of a reason to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to put some if I can get my affiliate account working again, I'll put some links down in the YouTube uh, description. If you feel like ordering any of these products, uh, I'll have a link there. Please click it through me. It doesn't cost you anything. It gives me some credit. Thanks, guys.